I have finished my face mask. This might be the coolest face mask I've seen. It was created by game developer Tyler Glale, and the lights respond to the sound of your voice. After Tyler posted his code on Twitter, I thought I'd have a go at making this myself, just as a novelty to wear on video calls, and I thought it'd be an easy project. How wrong I was. The components for something like this came to about £40, most of which went on this flexible LED matrix. I also needed a tiny microphone to pick up my voice and a microprocessor to run the code. Tyler's setup used an Arduino Nano. But it took a lot longer than I expected to get it working. Tyler's code was written for very specific components that I didn't have and I ended up working into the night to fix all the issues. Big thanks to Tyler and everyone else on Twitter who answered my questions to get this to work. Hello! <laughs> Once I had my mask working, I hopped on a video call with Tyler to talk about the project. So Tyler, first of all tell me, why did you want to create this? Because uh, it's cool. <laughs> I had a random idea for it. I was wondering if it existed to just have a face mask that would light up with mouth shapes. And uh, so I looked around online to see if there was anything that I could feasibly just buy that would do this. And there really wasn't anything there. And in terms of practicality, is this something you're actually going to wear out and about? I'm probably planning on wearing it to the store once. Like, I wore it outside once already, but it's very impractical compared to just a normal surgical mask. A lot of people have shared pictures of them in their mask. Are you surprised that it went viral? Yeah, it's cool seeing people uh, make their own versions of it. Some people independently made one of these, some similar to it before I posted mine that went viral. Is this the finished product for you? Are you thinking of adding anything else to the mask? I think it's done at this point. This has already taken me like or a month of playing around with it to get it to this point. I was trying to make it so that it could have a different mouth for like an E, which is like a higher pitched, or an O, which is like a lower pitched sound, just to like sell the, the effect a little more. Um, I, I sort of got it working, but it didn't look good. So I just didn't go with that idea. But that's about it. <laughs> I'm not planning on selling them, so you're going to have to make your own. Tyler has shared his code and a how-to guide on Twitter, although a few words of caution from me. I wouldn't say this is a beginner project, because if you don't have the exact same components as Tyler, his code won't work for you. And the components do run quite hot, so I can't really recommend you strap something like this to your face, and definitely not for children. There are some other designs out there, so it's worth digging around for inspiration. One simple idea is having a clear plastic window in the mask so that people who lip read can see your mouth. If you do decide to customise your mask, just make sure you can still sterilise it. The fabric on this one is machine washable, and the electronics I can slip out and sterilise with ultraviolet UVC. But to be honest, I think I'll probably just keep this one as a novelty.